What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create this really cool rendered 3D floor plan uh, and it's an all white floor plan so it's a really cool minimalistic approach uh, to showing off the floor plan. I think with this uh, 3D look it kind of shows off the functionality with, uh, and it still stays quite clean and elegant. Now I got inspired uh, for this floor plan by Show It Better. I think uh, he used something like uh, SketchUp or, or, or some software like that to create this and I thought well we can create that in Revit so why not? So that's what I'm going to be doing in today's uh, tutorial. Now before I get into that I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial it helps me out a lot with the YouTube algorithm and also make sure to subscribe. I make useful Revit tutorials each uh, week. I make multiple tutorials and then also I create some courses for Revit. Uh, so if you want to take the extra time uh, to learn about some advanced Revit topics, I have numerous courses on advanced topics and also I have some uh, beginner courses as well. I have actually a complete beginner to intermediate course. It's 16 hours long and it gets you to a point where you can basically produce all necessary project documentation for uh, your projects and you can complete projects on your own. So if you're interested in any of that, check out the link in the description to my website, balkanarctic.com. Okay, so without any further ado, let's get straight into Revit. Okay, so here we are in Revit and this is the project that I'm going to be using for this uh, tutorial. Now, uh, as I said, it's available on my Patreon, so if you're interested in downloading it, uh, you can find it there. That's going to be the second link in the description. And this is just what we're going to be using for uh, for this demonstration. Also, uh, as you can see, this has been set up in a perspective view. Now, uh, I don't want to waste time during this tutorial to talk about how to create a perspective floor plan view. You. So, if you're interested in that topic, I'm going to leave a link to the description. Uh, in, uh, in I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video uh, to a tutorial where I show you how to create exactly this uh, type of a perspective floor plan. So, if you're interested, make sure to uh, to check it out. But now let's turn this into a all uh, white uh, rendering minimalistic floor plan. So the first thing that we have to do is uh, we have to go here to the uh, visual style and set it to realistic. Now as you can see here we have many different colors uh, happening on this particular uh, model. Now unfortunately like some other software where it's just like a couple of clicks and then everything turns white. Unfortunately in Revit uh, there's uh, just uh, a, a lot more to do in order to make that uh, setting, but uh, if you know where to find each different setting, you can make this uh, quite quickly as you'll see from this quick little tutorial. So first we have this kitchen here and as you can see for this kitchen, I, I tend to start off my kitchens as uh, thick walls just to outline the dimensions of the kitchen. So this is just a simple basic wall. So I can select that, go here into edit type, go to the structure of that wall, then go to the material and here I can just set it to something white. Now for most cases I like to just type in white and then see what uh, Revit pops up and here the gypsum wall board is probably the quickest material you can use. I, I tend to use this for most uh, applications where I just want to have a material appear as white as you can see over here. Uh, moving on, we have the walls. So I, I, I'm going to select uh, highlight this wall, so just hover over it, hit the tab key once, and it's going to highlight all exterior walls. And then go here into edit type, or, or actually let's just first change the type to generic 300 millimeter. Wait for a moment to update. There we go. And now go in here into edit type. Again, it's the same story. Go into structure, go to material, drip some wall board, perfect. Click OK, apply, OK. There we go. As you can see, now the whole wall is white. Now the interior wall, select one, hold the control key, select the second one. Oops, that was the floor. So you hold the shift key to remove that from selection. Then again, hold the control key to add this to selection. Hold the control key, add this wall, this wall, and here make sure not to accidentally select the stairs, so make sure that the wall highlights, select that wall as well. Now uh, go here into edit type and again same story. Uh, now here we have the gypsum wall board on the outside so we can just apply it here in the middle as well or you can change it to a generic type, one of the thinner ones. So let's see, there we go. Click OK, apply, OK. Now it should be all white. There we go. 
Uh, moving on, we have the stair. Now for stair, we don't really have a material setting over here, but if you go into edit stair, then select it, so select the actual run, go into edit type, here we have the material, it's set to concrete, and we can just go here and switch that to, let's find gypsum wallboard, there we go. Now what I suggest you do is select this material and highlight it and go control C to copy that, so you can just play, uh, paste it in position for the rest of these. So just hit apply, OK, hit finish to exit out of edit stair, and now the stair is white. Uh, moving on, for doors and windows, uh, you want to select the actual family itself, go into edit type, and then here for most families that come with Revit and some high quality families that you download online, you should have the materials. Now they're either here in the edit type or sometimes if they're instance parameters, you can find the materials here in the properties. In this case, it's under edit type as a type parameter, so find it here under materials and finishes, and each material except the glass I want to turn to white so cherry just go control V to paste that name in and you're done same thing here control V control V control V and once again there we go so uh, we're just going to leave glass as glass and the rest will be gypsum wallboard hit apply okay and now I know what you may be thinking well gypsum wallboard that's not something you're going to make the door out of I know that this is just for presentation purposes only we're just looking here to create something that looks really cool for maybe your student presentation or something like that okay next let's go here to the uh, garage door go into edit type now here we have a couple of materials, so let's just paste that gypsum wall board on both of these, hit apply, okay, there we go, perfect. Let's go to this door, edit type, again, same story, so you just go paste, 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 and apply. So just the glass is left as a glass. There we go. Uh, let's go to this door, now I, I hope that's the same door as here, let's see, I guess not. Anyways, let's go here into edit type, paste, paste. Apply, okay, same thing for this door, paste, paste, apply, okay. Uh, now for uh, these furniture elements, uh, you just select one of the items and then you go here, you paste, hit apply, and then it's going to change both of these, same thing with the chair, uh, paste, paste, apply, and there we go. Uh, now for example, for this table here, let's see if, if we go into the type, yeah, we have the birch material. Let's hit apply there as well, hit OK. And the same thing for the chairs, paste, paste, <laughs> and hit apply, there we go. Uh, moving on, we have this credenza, let's go into edit type, and here for all of the materials, let's go with gypsum wallboard, click OK. Now for the TV, if I search here, we don't really have any materials, if I go into edit type, no materials. So what do you do in this case? Well, uh, in this case, you want to go here to edit family to open that family up. And then you want to select individual geometry. So hold the control key, and then select all of the geometry, select this. Now here, it's going to say void sweep, you don't want the void sweep, you want this thing. There we go. Now, uh, I just hit the tab key to, to toggle the selection. And now here for the material, Let's paste that gypsum wall board. Okay, that's invalid material, so let's close that off. So let's search here for something white. Okay, so here we have gypsum wall board. So for example, for this family, it's not loaded in, so you have to find the material down here. So you just type in white, find it here, and use the little up arrow to load that in. Hit apply, okay, and now it should be all white. Okay, just the screen then. Oops, this is the void, so let's see. Okay, is it this? Yeah. Okay, but that should be white. Okay, let's see, what else can it be then? Yeah, that's just the void. Okay, here we go, but this seems to be a gypsum wall board as well. So I don't know why this is appearing as uh, black. Something that you can do in order to kind of override this problem is to go here to paint, search for the material, here's the gypsum wall board, just select it there, and then click, and it's white, done.
Okay, now let's just load it into the project and close. Now uh, here it's asking, do we want to save the changes to this family? And I don't want to save the changes. I just want to override that here for this particular model. And now as you can see, the, the TV is all white. Uh, here we have, seem to have a problem with the window. So let's edit that. Okay, so here paste, 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 just the glass material, leave that as white as glass, sorry. Okay, there we go. So there's just one thing to change and that's the hardest part and it just left that for the last one because uh, it, it takes a, a bit of understanding the whole family itself and that's the stair and the railing as well. So let's start off from the stair. You want to select the stair and then go here into edit type and then for the stringer, that's the support on the side, you want to go here into stringer, edit that, go here to material, Paste that gypsum wallboard, hit apply, okay. Next, you want to go to run type, go into edit that, and here for both materials, let's just place gypsum wallboard, apply, okay, uh, we're done. Now, if I just hit apply and okay, that should cover the stair, perfect. And for the railing, you want to go here into the edit type, you want to go to, let's see, uh, you want to go to the top rail, here it is, go into edit, and then here for the material, paste that material as well, the gypsum wallboard, hit apply, okay, apply, okay, and we're done. Uh, now here for the balusters, uh, as you can see here, we have the rectangular baluster, if we select the family, go into edit type, uh, let's see, uh, so baluster placement, here is the family, it's baluster square 25 millimeters. Uh, to set that up, you would have to edit the baluster family itself. So uh, for something like that, you can go perhaps here to families uh, and then search for, let's see, uh, do we have railings? There we go, baluster square 25 millimeter, and then here we have the material paste that gypsum wall board, click OK, and that has changed as well. So as you can see for Revit, it's just about knowing each setting. Uh, I know it looks like it's uh, a bit too much work to set all of this up, but I think it's a really cool result. And also I think you learned a little bit more about material settings in Revit uh, throughout this tutorial, because uh, we have to kind of go through different types of families and categories to set everything up. Uh, now for actual rendering, uh, what you can do is, well, you have two options. You can render this, and I'm going to be showing you that, but also we can create a cool non-realistic view that looks quite cool, and that's just by going here, and let's change this to fine level of detail, and then let's go uh, to the visual style, go to graphic display options, and then for graphic display options, I'm going to uncheck show edges, hit apply, it's going to look like that. Then for shadows, I want both the cast shadows and ambient shadows. Let's hit apply. As you can see, it gives you a bit more realistic look. And then you want to scroll down to light and go into lighting, expand that. And then here for the sun, increase it. For the ambient light, increase it. And then for the shadows, decrease those to maybe 15. Click apply. Now it looks fairly good. Okay, maybe the ambient light should go down. Maybe the sun as well. And maybe the shadows should be a bit har harder. Huh. Maybe 25. Okay. So there you go. I think this looks really cool. And especially if you hide the section box, hold the control key, hide this as well. As you can see, I think this looks really cool. And if you just export this as an image, I think it would be really effective. But of course, you can take it a step further and render this. So for rendering, you just go here to view, render, and then uh, let's make it a medium printer, 300 pixels, that should do it. Let's just render and see what happens. Okay, so this is what you get. Uh, one, quick, one quick thing that I forgot is to change the background from a uh, few clouds to color and then set that to white. Click OK. Let's render that again and just see how it improves. As you can see, it will look a much, much better. And this is what we get when we kind of complete this whole uh, project. So as you can see, it looks really good. And of course, by going here to adjust exposure, uh, you can make it look uh, even better. So maybe if we make it a tad brighter, as you can see, just with making minor adjustments, you can kind of play around with the way it looks. 
this might be a bit too much. This is too dark, so just make some fine tuning, make sure to adjust it the way you want. Also, saturation, uh, it can be maybe intense <laughs> or uh, gray to make it kind of black and white, so you can play around with that. And also, I think with the white point, you can make it either cooler, like this, or uh, warmer in order to kind of change the feel of the whole rendering. So maybe something like this would look cool in my opinion, but then again, I think it's a thing of preference and and you can just make sure to adjust it the way you want. So I think this looks really cool. It's kind of one of those uh, visual styles where you kind of show off the basic feel of the building uh, without going too much into detail or uh, too much into actual uh, line work. I think this is much more appealing to maybe some student works, things like that. Uh, this probably isn't something that you're going to to show to your client uh, because uh, they're not going to figure out what the, what the heck is going on. So just keep that in mind. But I think it's a really cool look and that's why I decided to make this tutorial. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Make sure to check out my courses and my website, balkanarctic.com, first link in the description. And if you want to check these uh, project files like this one, check out my Patreon. That's going to be the second link in the description. Okay, so that concludes this tutorial. Make sure to like it, share it, subscribe, uh, leave a comment if you have any suggestions for newer tutorials or if you have any tips or tricks or any comments about this video. Okay, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.